Hi everyone, Dr. Jeff back with this week with Golf Student Magdalene and we got a really kind of cool topic this week. Have you ever, you know, when you get out of a chair or you get out of bed first thing in the morning or, or you get up quickly that uh, you feel a little lightheaded or a little dizzy? Um, that's called orthostatic hypertension, hypotension. Yes, hypotension. Yes. Yeah. So this is caused uh, because when you're lying down or you're sitting, blood kind of pools in your legs a little bit. Uh, and when you sit up quickly, uh, your, your pressure drops, your blood pressure drops, and this causes your brain's not getting enough blood, and uh, it becomes all fuzzy, uh, you feel a little, a little dizzy, maybe a little faint. Uh, this is all because of, of the blood pressure drop. Mm -hmm. So it can be caused by a couple different factors, like if you're dehydrated from a hot day or from exercising pretty hard and you're not um, taking in any fluid, that can cause it. Uh, medications, some certain side effects can cause it, like blood pressure medications or diuretics mm -hmm. where it's kind of getting rid of all that hydration. Yep. Um, it can be an issue with your adrenal gland, your thyroid, and if it's chronic, your cardiovascular system or your nervous system. Yeah. It can be it can be something chronic or it could be something that's acute. Um, so what can happen? Uh, you have something called baroreceptors um, in your in your arteries and stuff. And what can happen sometimes is these baroreceptors are supposed to tell tell the brain or tell the body when pressure drops. And sometimes these don't work quite right, especially as we get older. Um, they don't work quite as well. So when we're getting up, the baroreceptors don't say uh, you know to squish the arteries to to increase the pressure in them and they're a little delayed and when they delayed sometimes we'll get we'll get this feeling and it can be something that happens just occasionally um, that uh, happens and and uh, it goes away very quickly and it doesn't happen again uh, for a while or something chronic where every time you're getting up um, you're feeling this 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 feeling and you know the biggest thing biggest worry we have this is, is falls mm -hmm. um, and that uh, you're feeling kind of funny so you know, we have to say that you know when you're getting up, if you're every time you get up, uh, you kind of stand in your your spot for the count to three or the count to five, and uh, before you start to walk, because if you are if you suffer from this, what will happen is you start to walk and you and you feel faint and you fall down, mm -hmm. and you can you can break something and and really hurt yourself. So, you know, generally when you stand up, always count to three, one, two, three before you start to walk. Just so you can get your bearings, and if you do start to lose your balance, you have your seat behind you. Yep, you yeah. sit right back down again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are some ways to prevent this? Well, certainly taking in enough water, making sure you're hydrated on those hot days when you're exercising hard. Um, talk to your doctor or pharmacist about your medications to see if it is a side effect and mm -hmm. if you could switch medications. Um, other things you can do? Well, watch your alcohol and your, and, uh, your caffeine intake because the... Uh, they're di they act as diuretics, um, and you know I know I've had a few times when I've had a, a, a few too many beverages, and and uh, and I get up and I'm feeling kind of whoa like this, and again that can be because you're a little dehydrated plus you're a little a little buzzed. Um, <laughs> the other thing you want to watch is your stress level. Yeah. Uh, because uh, stress can really really play play tricks on on your endocrine system, your hormones and stuff, mm -hmm. um, and. If your thyroid's not working quite properly or your adrenal gland's not working quite properly, this can actually cause um, issues because the hormones are actually keeping your pressure up. Absolutely. If you like this video and you liked what we talked about, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or ideas for topics, make sure to give us an email or uh, send us a comment. Um, and as always, at Goldsworthy Wellness, we, we got, got you back. back.